I've always loved wildlife, and I thought that my major contribution to conservation would be through research and science. And I chose to study elephants because I found people so confusing and difficult to deal with. But despite all the work, elephants continue to be persecuted for their tusks, their hides, their flesh, and now for their land. I realised that research wasn't enough, especially if decision makers were not taking any notice. And that's why I moved into advocacy and campaigning. And I started with the Hands Off Our Elephants campaign, which was hugely successful, partly due to the funding from the Whitley Award that I won in 2014 and the Whitley Continuation Funding in 2016. But despite this hard-won success, elephant numbers across Africa continue to decline. In fact, the African savanna elephant is now considered endangered and the African forest elephant is critically endangered. I've just come back from the Amboseli ecosystem, which is home to some of the most amazing wildlife. It's an iconic landscape with migrating elephants, wildebeest, zebra, lions, cheetahs, and so many other animals, as well as people, the Maasai people, who move their livestock through this landscape. And while I was there, our vehicle broke down. As we were tinkering in the engine, we could hear this rustling in the bushes and out stepped this magnificent elephant, one of the biggest elephants I've ever seen. His name is Wonton. Wonton has the largest tusks of any elephant in Africa. And it was a cause of celebration to see him because just a few weeks earlier, he had been injured and treated for a deep wound in his neck. And he was believed to have died because he hadn't been seen again. Seeing him thriving was wonderful, but I couldn't help feeling that it was futile to save one elephant if we can't save this critical landscape. You see, one ton, like all the other elephants and wildlife, needs to move from the Amboseli National Park through a landscape of people, communities and private lands to the Chulu Hills National Park and the Sava West National Park. But in the last few years, this land in between the parks, which is critical for the migration of wildlife, has become clogged with farms, fences and even mining. Now, the industrial scale of avocado farming threatens to strangle the national parks and that will kill elephants. In the past, we were fighting poachers. Now we're fighting industrial farming and international trade. It's a much more difficult challenge. I mean, who doesn't love avocados? So now I'm turning my campaign to saving the Amboseli ecosystem. And if we succeed, this will set an enormous precedent not just for Kenya, but for the entire African continent and all the wildlife that migrates. I want to thank the Whitley Fund for Nature and the friends of the Whitley Fund for Nature for the support and recognition through the Whitley Gold Award that I'm receiving today. This award will allow me to raise the profile of the challenges facing Africa's wildlife to a global level and to work with the entire Whitley alumni and fraternity to help solve this problem. I believe that together we can secure justice for wildlife and people. Thank you.